and welcome back to Nessa's Nook. Today I'm going to go ahead and make the country fried steak in the um, Ninja XL. And it comes with like these little uh, pepper gravy mix. And I'll be making some of that up too. And uh, I'll go ahead and get this started. And I will put that on the air fry. And it always comes up at 390. I'm just going to do 350. For 20 minutes and then it's gonna go ahead and start and then I'll go ahead and get this uh, powdered mixed up usually I use my own but this does come with this so I'm gonna go ahead and use that all right this is the instructions for the peppered gravy so I'm gonna go ahead and get that around and get that all mixed up over here at the stove all right now it does say add two cups of the water but to start off with a half a cup and um, anyone that's been watching any of my videos I actually have like my own homemade brown gravy mix and chicken gravy mix and taco seasoning and, and as such so if you've watched my videos this is actually like a milk frother coffee frother or something I saw this on like a TikTok video and this works if you have even the package um, gravies or, or whatever have you this works so well mixing this up don't use don't use this whisk that's right there that made a mess all over my my oven or my stove but all you gotta do I'll just turn this around just a little bit I don't know if you can see that or not let me see if I can bring this a little bit closer I mean, it shoots powder everywhere, but it's not at least shooting mixture everywhere. And this is actually, believe it or not, this is actually one of my favorite meals. When I go out to eat, like on um, Denny's or um, Chili's has a really good one. I usually end up eating like this or like nachos when I go out. I don't know why. Creature of habit, I guess. But you see how nice and blended that got? So definitely, I mean, these are like eight bucks. I think I picked it up at Amazon or something. I absolutely love this when you're actually doing any of the gravies or anything like that. I don't think it matters what brand it is or anything like that. But that's going to go ahead and warm up. And I have corn going in this pot. Let me get a spoon in here. Okay. And now all I have to do is I make up some instant potatoes. And when this meat's done, I'm, you know, they don't call me messy and messy for no reason, right? So anyways, I'll go ahead and get this, uh, this uh, gravy gets thick very 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 fast and yes it's only the two of us and we probably didn't need the two cups of gravy but I do not like dry food so I do actually like to have a lot of gravy on my potatoes and the um, country fried steak like I said that's one of my favorite meals when I go out to eat and then this is my <clears throat> excuse me this is my own um, canned corn that I took from frozen corn and I've been only using just the jelly jar because it's enough for my husband and I so that way there's not any waste. I'm going to watch this gravy for a few minutes and I'm going to go over there and I'll make up the instant potatoes real quick. And also anyone who's been watching my channel, I do not follow instructions. Um, I've, I mean once in a while I will for a, a first recipe sometimes um, sometimes you know like when it's like bread or something like that I'll definitely um, do instructions but I'm just taking some instant potatoes because it is getting later in the night and like I said it's just my husband and I so it's not like we have to do a whole bunch of potatoes one of these days I'm going to figure it out and actually maybe pre-put these like in a canning jar 
because we really do like to have the um, the garlic mashed instant, instant potatoes. Um, and one thing I don't like when I do the instant potatoes, when you follow the instructions, it's not usually, I like mine like light and fluffy like this. So I don't, I don't usually <laughs> follow the instructions because I know how I want my instant potatoes. And I do think that's a lot easier if you put the water at the bottom. Those potatoes came together very nicely. They go over there and stir that gravy and I will be right back and we'll show you dinner. Alright, so here's dinner. The chicken fried steak. Uh, corn and mashed potatoes with the gravy from the dinner. Uh, very quick to put together. Pretty tasty. So yeah, this is dinner tonight. And thank you very much for stopping by. You have a very blessed and wonderful day.